pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Red Wolves. I'm Charlie. And I'm Amara. <laughs> oh, let's get into the announcements. Hey, yeah. sick. CTE student ambassadors, remember you have a meeting today in Mr. Henson's room during lunch. And a bonus, lunch will be provided. I'm one of those ambassadors, so that's pretty fun. <clears throat> also, the National Honor Society will host a blood drive on February 27th. If you want to donate, sign up at the NHS Red Cross table during lunch this week in the courtyard. Be sure to return your signed permission slip. And remember, prom tickets are currently on sale in the bookstore. Get your single ticket today for $70 or couple up and get it for $130. Mm -hmm. Prices will go up March 2nd, so go get your tickets now. If you are interested in joining the Student Council and want to ask questions or learn more about the class, there is an informational meeting today in the Wolf Den during lunch. See you there. And speaking of Stuco, today's teacher interview is with Mr. Rodriguez. He oversees Stuco and is also the school psychologist. So let's check it out. Hello, my name is Ryan Rodriguez. I wanted to be a student council advisor because um, student council is something that I've always been passionate about. It's something that I love. Um, it's just something that I've always been involved in and I think that it's changed my life for the, for the positive. So my favorite thing about student council is, um, is really just having the opportunity to like plan events and to be the one that's in the know pretty much with, with all of the events and things that happen in school. So the favorite thing about Walden Grove for me is that um, this is alive, even when school is out of session. And I think that's my favorite thing. I feel like it's a super active campus. I feel like there's a bunch of activities for students to be a part of. When I was younger, my dream job was to become a famous singer. Um, I was in the Tucson Boys Chorus. Singing is something that I absolutely love. On my free time, um, because I have a family, we spend a lot of time together. My kids, they're heavily involved in ballet, so I love supporting them and watching them um, in their performances and things like that. We also just go to the movies. My most memorable experience to date would have to be uh, when I went to Belize, um, which is in Central America. So a little backstory about me, I was born in Belize. My greatest influence uh, throughout my life, I would have to say is and always has been my grandfather. He led by example. Um, which I think is super important as a leader. Um, he would, you know, preach and teach everybody about God. And he seemed to live in the way that he felt um, that, that God would want us to. Something that I think that people who uh, meet me wouldn't really expect or know about me. I remember telling somebody a little bit, a little bit about my life and sharing that I wasn't born in the U.S. And, and sharing with them that I was the first one in my family. So I have five older brothers, and then obviously my mom and dad, um, that I was the only one who had gone to college. If I could be a Disney character, um, I would be Mickey Mouse. And the reason that I'm saying Mickey Mouse is because one, it's, I kind of feel like throughout my life, I was a little like, you know, like being in student government, being elected to positions. And then when I went to NAU, I was in student government, elected in different positions there. But if I could travel anywhere, Anywhere, I would go to Belize. I really want to take my family. Um, I have uh, six kids and, and then my wife and I would love to take all of them. For me, my high school experience was pretty amazing. Um, I honestly feel like it's something that you would see in a movie. Um, I was heavily involved in student government and I had been involved every year. And that kind of shaped my high school experience. Um, I feel like high school was where I was able to kind of have an escape from any stress that I may have experienced. 
Fantastic work by Julia Rigetti on that one. Absolutely. What a queen. Indeed. <laughs> oh, here's some great news for all you seniors. There are several, several scholarships available for just Walden seniors. Check out the counseling hallway or the Walden Girl Counseling website. Here's another announcement as we do edge closer to the end of the year. Be sure to order your 2020 yearbook before February 29th to guarantee that you will get a copy. For sure. Also, pre-order your yearbook at the bookstore or online at Justin's Yearbook for $85. After February 28th, yearbooks will still be available to purchase for $90. However, there will be a limited number of yearbooks for sale and will be sold on a first-come, first-served basis. Right. Don't risk not getting into your 2020 yearbook. Make sure you place an order before February 29th. And juniors, your Metallica-themed class shirts are available in the bookstore for only $10. Go and see Ingrid today and get yours before they are gone. Remember that the German Club is hosting a fun event today during lunch in room 1285. They'll be talking about German carnival, carnival and mask, mask making. making. Bring a friend. Now birthdays, and since we have four days off, we have a lot of them. First up, happy birthday today to Gloria Scott and Vance Wingergardner. And on Thursday, Jose Beltran, Caleb Forehan, Alexandra Garcia, Caleb Pohl, and Rachel Pohl will be celebrating. Hey, yeah. Uh, and that's birthday. it for announcements. And we won't see you tomorrow or Friday, so make sure you enjoy the rodeo break. Yeah, go! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we're done. That's it. Wait, I want to give a shout out to Mr. Noble, please. Mr. Noble, you're I just a king. I love you. Okay, I love you. You're my favorite teacher. And I just I don't know. I just think that, that you deserve in. more recognition. That's all. Hey, if you're inter interested in joining the stu student council, <laughs> ask for quite. Let's Jake. <laughs> it's just at the beginning of this line. Hey. I'm so sorry. Why didn't I read that? Why did you read that? I don't know. Idiot. 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 Okay. Idiot. That's sick. Okay. Want to donate? Sign up at the NHS Red Cross table during lunch this week in the courtyard. Be sure to return your signed permission slip 